What's going on everybody and welcome back. Welcome to another episode of Accord Stuff. So here is how it sits. We have wheels, right? I haven't yet shown you what they are. Hopefully you can't see them. Um, I, I got the covers on there and I have uh, some boxes over here. But yeah, I'll reveal that in just a second. I want to keep the suspense going. Uh, I'll tell you the size. They are a 17 by eight and a half with a plus 30 offset. When I first looked at them, to be honest, I was terrified because they look like they stick out so much. But I've been reassured that once it's on the ground and once I you know, lower it a little bit and put the wheels on and everything, it should camber in. I hope that it doesn't have too much camber in the front. Um, but I've seen people with more aggressive setups fit totally fine on this car, so I have to try to have faith, although it looks totally crazy to me. But even if it pokes, I don't really care. I think it'll look sweet. Um, I, I just want to be able to have nice wheels. I never had a nice set of wheels that I bought myself brand new. So this is my first set. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And I want to show you guys what they are. But uh, I want to do a little unboxing for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and unveil what's going on here uh, in one second. So some of you guys might already have guessed it. But some of you may not. Some of you may be upset. But some of you may be happy, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. This is what I ended up going with. And just know that I had everything in mind when picking a set of wheels. I kept in mind the performance, the weight, the looks, and everything that is included there and the grip and all that good stuff too. I had thought about all of that when looking into getting these wheels. So I took all that into consideration. So obviously I ended up going with uh, some NKs. So. Hopefully you guys are excited. I know I am. I already opened a couple obviously to put on the car, but I will uh, open another couple right here for you. And uh, let's see if I, I think I cut a pretty bad uh, bunch of notches there. Oh, this is a terribly botched unboxing. Hang on. Okay, here we go. All right, so like I said, end case. So now I'll go ahead and show you guys what I ended up getting. And it is the RPF1, of course. You know, what else would you get? I think it's a, it's a classic wheel. It's, this is like the most classic color. And uh, they're just, it's such a lightweight wheel, you know. I, I gotta double check on the weight, but they weigh in like under 20 pounds. They, it's just super lightweight. And I think that it's like a perfect choice for a lightweight rotating assembly. This and a lightweight tire, I think is gonna make a great combination. And uh, yeah, I just think, uh, you know, this was, and the availability on these was like, you know, always there. So I was always had these as an option, but I didn't wanna necessarily go to it, but I just decided, you know, why am I wasting time on heavy wheels that I just can't even get right now when I could be enjoying driving. So I'll show you guys what it looks like with uh, the covers off over here too. I have a couple mounted like I said and they came with the little valve stems right here. So I mounted one of those stems on there but I like that you can really see the brakes and everything through the wheel. I think it's going to look really sweet with this. Now I just need to buy some tires and then uh, we can drive this thing. So. Pretty stoked the Accord is making a comeback, guys. Don't uh, don't sleep on it. It'll be back soon. Just got to pick up some tires. I'm thinking Firestones. So not only did we do wheels, uh, the taillights are almost finished up. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back. I have the lenses off right now. Um, but basically, our lenses are off on this side. So you can see what I have going on. I got all my individual pieces here all glued in. Uh, the light's not mounted yet, but I've got these guys all glued in, and I just use hot glue, you know, don't hate, but uh, if this thing ever does have a problem and I want to be able to take it apart, hot glue is so easy, you know, worst case I could just either heat it up or just cut it out and it'll come right back, um, so I really don't have any problems, everything looks really good, I like the way that it's left open in the back, so it's got vents just like it would have normally, um, you know, no water should get in here once I seal all these. So we should be good there. Now I do want to paint the lenses and I was thinking about painting the outsides here and I was going to go crazy and paint them with something like 
like uh, nice and I'm not sure if I still want to do that if I want to like prime them and fix them because one of these has a little ding in them I think it's it's this one has a little scuff mark in it which maybe I can sand and put a little bit of my filler here but it has it in here too so N this is not perfect and the car is not perfect either and I'm really getting nitpicky but that's just the way I am you know I just always nitpick stuff but let me set up the camera and give you guys a little demo of what the lights are going to look like you may be able to see the outlines but they look really sick. I know I gave a little demo before, but seeing them all in the car and all the lights work is, is really something pretty special. I'm really excited about how good it came out. So I'll give you guys a little demo here, and then I gotta get to working on these lenses. And uh, once we get the lenses sanded down, I can clear them. And I don't know that I actually wanna do any tint. I think it, I feel like it almost looks good enough just because of the way the, uh, the black interiors kinda dyed the interior of it it looks black with the lines and I almost like that so I don't know that I'm gonna tint it at all um, I might just leave it uh, just because I like the way that it looks because it doesn't quite look stock it looks different so I'm gonna try to rock this and uh, probably just clear them honestly and keep them nice and bright as bright as I possibly can I like bright lights and I don't want to get rear-ended so I think that's the best way to do that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other light on and I'll show you guys what it looks like So I've got my lenses here. These are from the right side. Um, they're a little chewed up on the edge here from the prying on it with the screwdriver. Uh, I guess I wasn't as careful as I could have been. Um, you really can't get these out without marring them. You just got to know the right ways to pry and just be careful. But uh, I was—I get impatient, so I kind of pried a little on this. But we'll sand this nice and flat, and you won't even know. And uh, as far as this, you can kind of feel the transition here, and you can see it too. So uh, I think once we get a nice coat over this whole thing, and uh, maybe even just a couple of drops of black. I don't, I don't know, I gotta see what it looks like, what it sprays out as. I may experiment with uh, the side markers, because I have that side marker to paint as well, so I may experiment with that to see, um, you know, just what I can make the paint look like, how dark I can make it, and then uh, maybe we'll only do uh, a couple of coats if you, if you go really light. I don't know, it remains to be seen, but I wanna sand off all this stuff here. It says Stanley on there, and there's some other stampings on here. Um, that's probably illegal, but that's okay. I'm going to sand all that stuff off and then we're going to work up through the grits and get it nice and fine. So I think I, I don't know if I want to start with like a 400 so just to get that off with a block and just kind of take this off here and then uh, finish it up with like a 600 or an 800. And I think we'd be good to spray over like an 800. Um, but I think I'm going to see what I got for sandpaper and uh, just start going at this. Hopefully I don't make too big a scratches in it getting rid of this stuff here. And then uh, we'll move on to scuffing it up all nice. And then these will be ready for some clear coat, which I'll do uh, hopefully soon here. Maybe I can do it outside on one of these nicer days coming up and uh, just get a little bit of clear slap down. And then we can get these lights pulled back together, put on the car, get tires, and get this thing on the road so I can make some videos of me driving. So here's how they look after being sanded with the 600. I just did it dry. I'll probably do uh, the next stage, whether it's 800 or uh, or whatever, probably 800, I'll probably do that wet, just so we can make sure we don't clog up the paper and we put a nice, nice coat on it. Helps a little bit with plastic, although I think even painting over this would probably be totally fine. I think the clear coat would fill these scratches. They're not very deep, but I was able to get out a lot of the imperfections. The corners where the plastic is molded isn't absolutely perfectly flat, so I kind of sanded those edges and where the two pieces meet. There was a little lip because I think that they're two pieces that are actually glued together. So to hit those little lips is nice and I can kind of smooth out the whole thing along with the corner. You can see, you probably can't tell on this one, but uh, once you start sanding, you can tell there are high and low spots. But uh, it's really not as bad on this one as it was on the other one. But yeah, it seems like it's a lot better and it's a lot smoother along all the edges. So the clear coat should lay really flat. Also, there was this big scratch here that I took most of it out. There's still a couple of dots here. Uh, you can see those dots there but it took most of the big scratch out in between and uh, i'm hoping it'll do a similar thing on these scratches on this light as well 
and uh, any other little imperfections I have. So it kind of takes them out. I got a chip here, which it's not going to do much for this chip, but you know, it'll take out any scratches that I have and hopefully fill that in with clear coat. And then we'll be able to uh, hit these with maybe a little quick uh, sand with a little bit of 1200 or something like that. And then uh, hit them with a little quick buff. And then they should be super high gloss, way glossier than we could ever get with these. Even if we buff these and then <clears throat> with time, these will these will fade and we can wax these like painted uh, car and it'll stay just like everything else. I did that to the headlights and uh, other than this little chip right here, um, these are holding up really good. I guess I probably just didn't sand or didn't clean right there very well so it chipped but otherwise they're holding up really well up front. Uh, they look really good, nice and clear. They were all hazy when I got them and uh, I really never even wet sanded and buffed them. I think when I do retrofit the fronts I'll probably sand all these little things off but uh, I'll definitely do custom headlights for this thing. Maybe that'll be next winter's project or something down the road, but custom headlights will be uh, eventually. But that's just something that I uh, like to fiddle with when I got not much else going on. So I decided to do that and not to do any more performance stuff. But we're gonna probably get back into that kind of stuff afterwards. But we got wheels to, wheels to get going on and uh, I'm stoked on that. This really gets me pumped and gets me more pumped to work on the project, which is what I needed a kick in the ass to uh, to get back to work. So I'm gonna get this thing up and running soon. I'm gonna try to take a trip tomorrow to look at tires at Firestone and uh, see what kind of what kind of deals they can offer me. And uh, I'm gonna keep plugging away on these lights. Hopefully get them done at the same time, and then we can uh, have this thing on the road. Everything is scuffed now. I have everything is nice and flat. Um, so now the only thing I have left to scuff with 600 is the third brake light, and then maybe the side markers. I do still have to build that one side marker, so I think I will try to get on that at some point soon today, and uh, get that ready, and then get the third brake light up here. There's a lot of letters to sand off of that as well, and that's pretty dull. So that'll be nice to refinish that. So yeah, I'm uh, just about ready here to go ahead and hit these guys with some paint. Um, yeah, they're going to look pretty sweet. I don't know. It would be cool if I could candy them. I never really looked into doing that, but that might wreck the whole white and red thing I have going on, which I think looks pretty good, and I think it'll look really good when it's clear-coated. These are going to have like a really deep shine. Um, I've clear-coated taillights before, and they always come out really good. So, yeah, should look pretty sweet, guys. Just uh, waiting on having everything ready, and then I'll be able to do a little paint session. I've been toying around with the idea of, for the backs here, for the stuff in black. I think I might just paint this uh, with a rattle can. I might try to smooth this out. I'll sand it and paint it with a rattle can and then just hit it with some of the clear coat when I do the lenses. I'll just uh, tape it off um, and then I'll hit it with clear coat as well. And that way, hopefully we can have this nice and protected and nice and glossy as well. Uh, I just wanna, cause there's like a little primer on here and there's also some, some nicks in it and some dents. So I wanna try to sand it and try to make it all look nice and then taillights will be totally complete and I'll be happy. So you guys are gonna get two reveals in one video here. Uh, I did get something today at work. I had somebody uh, help me out. The parts guy ordered my tires for me and they came right away today and I brought them home. I was gonna try to get them mounted at town fair but they won't touch anything that's new because they don't wanna be liable. Um, so I guess I'll just mount them at work tomorrow or at least a couple of them if I have time. I'm a little bit nervous because our tire machine sucks, but I think I'll be able to handle it. I do tires pretty often, so I don't think it'll be too much of a big deal. Uh, I should be able to get it done. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I, what I got. So I ended up going with the Firestones. 
Um, I'm pretty happy with them. They look pretty awesome. Um, I'm pretty stoked. I think it's going to come out looking really sick. It's got like a nice, nice sidewall to it. It's got a good width to it, you know. It's not a huge tire. Uh, I definitely probably could have gone wider, but I just want to see how it fits. This will be my first set of tires with the car. Hopefully I drive it for a while and uh, end up wearing these tires out, and then I'll throw new tires on it. But it is, uh, it's, <laughs> it looks so awesome. I can't, uh, can't wait to see it on the road, dude. Just seeing, seeing that aggressive tread pattern sticking out there is just so awesome. Hopefully you guys can see the angle there, but um, yeah, I'm really stoked. I'm gonna just, you know, really enjoy having these mounted. Um, so I just gotta get to it. They're not entirely centered. It's it's actually uh, pretty close to centered on there, so we do have a little bit of room to uh, you know lower this thing down some more. I think so. We'll have to do that, and uh, after we get this thing all sitting on the ground, it's gonna it's gonna look pretty sick. So I'm pretty stoked. Hopefully you guys are too. And uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a tight fit. So we're gonna have to do some fender rolling. Um, not too excited about that, but hopefully I don't jack it all up. I'm going to try to just go nice and easy in there and uh, heat it up a lot and uh, do some light hammer taps maybe because I know the problem I ran into before was the fender roller was hitting the uh, upper control arm. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that just yet, but I think tonight I'm going to take tonight to go over and do a bolt check on everything and then uh, maybe try to do a little bit of an eyeball alignment on the... Um, on the wheels uh, or I may throw the, the rear wheels on and measure like you know a side to a side or something like that see if I can just get an eyeball alignment on it just so we can make sure that it's not totally out for me to drive this thing to the alignment rack at work and I'm gonna spend a long time doing the alignment on this thing but I'm gonna be going away this weekend so that won't be till next weekend and uh, yeah so I'll show you guys the little bit of progress I made on the taillights and then I'll wrap this video up so what I got going on here is the taillight is sanded, and I think what I'm going to do is not half-ass it and just go and go all out and do what I really want to do, which is paint this nice black. So I think that I'm going to uh, mix up a little bit of paint, and uh, I'll mix up some primer, I think. Hit these with adhesion promoter, and then prime them, as well as these two. i got to sand these still. I'll do that tonight. But I'm going to sand all this stuff, hit it all with black paint, along with the wiper arms here. The wiper arms are just totally tired, so I'm going to try to strip all the paint off of these and hit these with a little bit of primer and the same black that I hit these with. And then I'm going to clear these when I'm doing the uh, lamps here, when I do the taillights. So I'll do that and these all at the same time. And I'd like to do the cowl as well. The cowl's over here, fell down behind the sandblasting cabinet, but the cowl has got to get done too. Uh, let's see cowl is also toast so we got to do the cowl I was gonna I don't know I was gonna try to push it off but I think now is the best time to do this kind of stuff because you know I'm still waiting on the, the tires and wheels and stuff like that and uh, I could still drive the car without this item on it as well so it is what it is but I figure I'll just do it all at the same time and then this thing will be pretty much done other than the window trim but yeah super stoked on the tires guys super stoked on the wheels um, this thing's really coming together. Uh, I cannot wait. We're on the home stretch here of this uh, looks looks aspect of it, and uh, not gonna be doing too much more as far as looks. Just finishing touches, but it's coming up soon here. The, uh, the debut of this thing. It's gonna be on the road again very shortly. I'm hoping within the month. Within the month, we'll have this thing on the road and ripping. Maybe uh, two weeks at the minimum. So pretty excited. Uh, hopefully you guys are too. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the merch and also check out all the other links. Follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff if you guys want to see more because it's coming up pretty soon. We're driving. I gotta do an oil change. I got so much work to do. And I'm going away and it, you know, I need time to myself, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.